Now to an important health alert. Today, the Centers for Disease Control is warning about a potentially life-threatening red meat allergy caused by tick bites. The report estimates 450,000 people may have contracted the disease known as alpha-gal syndrome. CBS's Meg Oliver reports the alert comes as health officials report cases of tick-borne diseases are rising. Last year, 53-year-old Carmen Stangoda began suffering from fatigue, muscle spasms, and slurred speech. Eight months of testing, six different doctors from primary neurologists, uh, ear, nose, and throat, endocrinologists. The father of four from New Jersey was finally diagnosed with Lyme disease from a tick bite that didn't show the most common symptom, a bullseye-like rash. You know, there's good hours and bad hours. It impacts all the things you take for granted that you do every day. Other symptoms include headaches, fatigue, and muscle aches. Every summer we see an increase in tick-borne diseases. Dr. Lori Handy says the number of ticks and tick-borne infections nationwide is on the rise, likely due to climate change. Ticks can survive uh, in different areas because it's warmer, and that then can lead to more infections in humans. To prevent an infection, doctors recommend wearing long clothes and using bug spray with DEET, changing and showering once home, checking your body in a full-length mirror, and throwing your clothes in the dryer. Turn it on high, and if any ticks remain on the clothes, they'll, they'll just kill that after about 10 minutes. If you do find a tick, you should grasp it with tweezers close to the skin and steadily pull it out. The majority of tick-borne infections are easily treatable with antibiotics. I really, truly hope that I could just help one other person, 10 other people. This has really been quite an experience. Meg Oliver, CBS News.